So you don't understand the basic settings. Not a problem. A lot of these settings are the same as the website, but just to refresh your memory, first thing you'll see is prompts and negative prompts. I will do a full prompt specific tutorial very soon later, but for now just understand you type what you want here and you type what you don't want here. Think of sampling steps like research range. This is not exactly how it works, but imagine if it's set to 20, it'll research 20 images before generating its own. But if it's set to 150, it'll research 150 images before generating its own. Generally, the more samples, the higher the quality and the cleaner results will be. Method is also going to be explained in its own tutorial. For now, just know the defaults are pretty good. Width and height just decides the X and Y size of your image. Unlike the website, it will go all the way up to 2K or down to 64 pixels. Restore faces will help keep the human faces looking human, and will usually fix weird looking eyes. Here is an example with it, and here is an example without it. Tiling is if you're working with images that you want to be able to repeat infinitely. This is most common if you're a 3D artist and you need repeating seamless texture maps for materials like rocks, grass, and wood. High res makes the image look sharper. My computer is not strong enough to use it, but if yours is, go ahead and try it out. Batch count is how many images you want. If it's set to 1, you'll only get 1 image. If it's set to 16, you will get 16 images. Batch size, honestly, I'm not really sure. I usually just leave it alone. CFG is the literal scale. The higher it is, the more likely you will get exactly what you typed in the prompt. Assuming the prompt is Christina Hendricks wearing a Halloween hat, Hat, this is what it looks like at 7. This is what it looks like at 0. And as you can tell, everything is random and unrelated stuff. But here's what it looks like if we max it out. It's a little too Halloween and a little too Christina. Seed is extremely important, and again, we'll be getting its own separate tutorial, but for now, just know that seed controls variation. Normally, when it's set to negative 1, every image gets its own seed, making it very different from the last image. But if you want the new images to be similar to the last one you made, you can hit the recycle button, and it will reuse the same seed as before. This is extremely useful whenever you want to test how the prompt affects the results. If you keep the seed the same, you can see how changing the prompt and the settings affect the final image. If you want to set it back to random, just hit the dice and it'll go back to negative one. So that is part one of the basics. The rest is coming soon, but in the meanwhile, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day. Now see you around. <laughs>